Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. The world we live in considers morality as a strange and weird thing, but we congratulate strangers who love and obey Almighty God. The midfielder missed a League One game against Montpellier on Saturday, during which players wore rainbow shirts in support of the LGBTQ movement. This news was very much trending. Do you know who this is? It's our Muslim brother, Idrissa Ghana Goy. He's a Senegalese professional footballer who plays as a defensive midfielder for League One club PSG. Idrissa also missed a match last year on a day dedicated to the fight against homophobia, promoting French media to speculate that he had deliberately avoided the game. Idrissa has not spoken publicly why he missed the match. As expected, this doesn't go down the throat of the people. Where's the freedom of belief, freedom of expression? Why did they hit dustbin here? PSG boss said only that Senegalese Idrissa missed the game for personal reasons. The French Football Federation has reportedly written to Idrissa to clarify why he was absent. The best part is here. Senegal's president Macky Sall and other prominent national figures have expressed their support for Idrissa. President wrote on Twitter, "I support Idrissa. His religious beliefs must be respected." Sports minister said, "When you sign with a club, it's to play football. It's not to promote anything or put aside your beliefs." Brothers and sisters, there's something that I and you need to learn here. Next time when any of your friend or relative or colleague stands up for the truth and being on hug majority of people or not do stand up for them show them love it's difficult if you think islam is hard and you want to fit in in the so called mainstream we have talked about homosexuality many times in the past it's a worrisome topic the next generation is being forced down the throat to accept it's normal it's perfectly fine love comes in all forms Normalization is dangerous, but that's the agenda. So be careful. Take your children to mosque. If there's an option, please put them in an Islamic school. Before you let them live freely at the age of college, make sure that they value Islam, love Islam. It's instilled in their hearts deeply. Only Allah can save them, but it's our responsibility to teach it with ihsan, so it's instilled deep in the hearts. So whenever they go astray or deviate, they know where to come back. They need to know that they have a Lord who is the most loving and the most forgiving. May Allah have mercy on our children and protect their faith. Amen. We Muslims need to rethink and stop fitting in. Our athletes are amazingly inspirational. They stood up for this many times. They raised voices for causes which Muslim politicians haven't raised. Mezat Ozil is a very good example. Habib happens to be a bigger inspiration because of his professionalism. traits like hard work mental strength we need to pick it up from them well finally let's conclude we don't support homosexuality we believe it's morally wrong and in our lands it's also wrong legally in case we are a minority we are not the law makers we'll stand up for our beliefs and we hope the people or non muslims to respect religious freedom that's it for today brothers and sisters i hope you like the video Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.